Hey folks, Curse Me here. You're Back more Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Continuing our takedown of the Dark Aeons, we have Dark Shiva. So we're going to go back to Lake Makalania and then go run back to the temple. She is right outside the temple. Well, her summoners are right outside the temple. Once again, using, I think, um, reused voice samples from earlier in the game. Because, I mean, they're going to spend money on adding these fights, but they're probably not going to spend money on bringing voice actors back into the studio to work on any of it. Dark Shiva is both one of the weakest and most dangerous of the Dark Aeons. I say weakest because she will die in a single attack reels. And like one extra attack. Because I want to say she has like 1.2 million even. Mm, yeah, I want to say it's 1.2 million right on so attack reels does a little bit less than that and then you hit her once and she's dead but if you can't do that if you don't like blitz ball and don't get the world champion and don't max out waka's strength oh, so he can do you come so back much. to Makalani, a temple a traitor traitor find your salvation on the far plane life so it's pretty dangerous actually she has one more one. and then after you kill her these guys come after you again which means we don't even have to turn on the random encounters to get our overdrives back although we're not really gonna use our overdrive in this next Dark Bahamut. So Bahamut is back in 
the Xanarkand ruins, actually back where we fought Unaleska. And yeah, I, I, I did this little bit of backtrack here because I'm like, is there like one of those little teleport things here that I could use? Because I know there's one further on. So for this we're going to use a slightly different party than we have been using and I'll be honest it gives me a little bit of a headache because I haven't been, you know, keeping Yuna super high. Particularly in terms of agility, which means that the turn orders wind up a little odd. So Dark Bahamut has this thing where if he, if you attack him five times, he, his next attack, I think possibly at least as long as it's not an overdrive, will be impulse. Every five of the players attacks, excluding counterattacks, which is really important. Dark Bahamut counters with impulse, which inflicts slow, full break, a strong delay, um, and I think can it petrify? I'm not sure if it petrifies or not. I think it probably does. Maybe. I'm not really sure what the deal here is. I know that it can shatter. That it can shatter people who are petrified. And if you don't have break hit point limit and really high HP. You're going to have to throw Aeons in front of uh, Dark Bahamut. Well, you could also do Auto Life. But, I can't think of a really good way to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, overdrives to be casting it on everybody. could cast just this normal spell itself, but that's, that's different. So this is going to be a long fight, because here's how this works. We are going to haste him. We want him to attack us faster, otherwise this would take a really long time. And then right now, because Waka is not, you know, available there, I'm sentinelling with Riku. It's not really what I want to do, but it's what I have to do at that point because I cast haste with Waka. So the plan of attack is Waka uses Sentinel. Somebody cures him. And we let the boss hit us. And then when the overdrive bar is full, we summon an Aeon to soak the Mega Flare. Trying to use a three star yeah, so that we can use whatever cures we want to. And thus, every time Bahamut attacks, we get to attack and we 
never have to deal with impulse at all. Unfortunately, due to Yuna's agility, it, it, it messes a little bit with the turn order, but you'll see as we get through this whole fight here that it's really simple. It's not really that, it's not like it's difficult to go through, it's just time consuming. And I mean, you could do this with a relatively under-leveled party as long as you had enough um, accuracy and luck to hit the counter-attack and enough HP to survive the regular attacks. Although you would have to have auto life if you aren't doing max damage probably because yeah. you would eventually run out of Aeons to use. And that would be a strong limitation on the process. As it stands, get through three or four Aeons before it becomes an issue. Anyway, if you guys enjoy, this is going to be a lot of just repeating the same process.
and we're done. An overkill on Dark Bahamut. No overdrives used, no break hit point limit. Just armor with auto haste, auto phoenix, which wasn't even important. Auto protect was though. time we take a short break from killing dark aeons to go clean up the omega ruins that's next time and i'll see you then